Hello everyone and welcome back to more Magic the Gathering Speculore. It's a new term I just coined and it's a mixture between speculation and lore, exactly what this video is about today. Recently, Wizards of the Coast has unveiled more information for their upcoming independent set, Conspiracy 2, the follow-up to the popular multiplayer standalone that came out a while ago. At the time of this recording, no cards have been officially spoiled, but they did provide us with some nice lore to help set the stage for this intriguing side expansion. The most interesting thing to come out of the story was the introduction of a new planeswalker to the MTG universe, a woman named Kaya, known as the Ghost Assassin. I mean, from her title alone, you can predict that this new character is going to be an awesome addition to the roster. She literally assassinates ghosts, killing the already dead and putting them down for good. This is the closest thing to an actual Ghostbuster we're going to get in MTG, guys. But what do we know about Kaya herself, other than she has a very, very unique set of skills? Well, we don't really have much of a history on her yet. It seems she likes to keep her past to herself. She could be from Fiora, seeing how it's the plane featured in the conspiracy sets, but since she's a planeswalker, she could have come from anywhere. What we do know about her though is that she uses a type of special magic unique to her planeswalker abilities. Kaya has the ability to become partially incorporeal, thinning her physical self so that she can pass through walls, objects, and even interact and make contact with ghosts in the spirit world. It's this magic Kaya uses to carry out her duties as a ghost assassin, and what's brought her to the forefront of the conflict in Conspiracy 2. Most people in the high city of Pagliano live with the realization that ghosts and spirits are all around them. Some are harmless ancestors looking to fulfill some long lost goal, while others seek malicious gains through their typically invulnerable state. Kaya has an issue with any soul that lingers too long in the world of the living. She believes that this plane is for the living and the living alone. Those who live should make the most of the time they have, because once it's gone, they should stay gone. Spirits who return after death because of some unfinished business best leave it behind because it was probably their fault in the first place. Life is a gift typically wasted by most. If you lost a chance to live your life, that's on you. It's a principle that's guided Kaya through her entire life, and what started her on this unusual occupation. You see, Kaya doesn't just kill ghosts for fun, she does it for money. She's a spectral killer for hire. With this unique work history, many have paid a pretty penny for Kaya's services. There aren't any easy ways to rid yourself of a bothersome ghost or greedy geist, so business is always in high demand. Her most recent contract came from a woman named Marchesa, a popular figure from the first conspiracy set. Known as the Black Rose, Marchesa is a scheming highborn lady who had been trained to rule the high city of Pagliano and by extension, the entire plain of Fiora. She grew up believing that she'd one day sit the greatest throne in the world, but she was constantly outbid by her older brothers, as undeserving as they were. Currently, the city is ruled by the Ghost King Eternal, Brago. While holding little real power in Pagliano, King Brago is kept as a figurehead by the High Council in order to stay off a confusing line of succession and to keep power for themselves. So long as the Geist of King Brago remains, the Council is entrusted with all the duties becoming of the rightful ruler of Pagliano, a right Marchesa believes was taken from her. Now she plots to end Brago's eternal reign and force the line of succession. At least then she can prove herself worthy of the throne. That's where Kaya's services come in handy. With a handsome sum of gold, the Ghost Assassin has one of her biggest scores yet. Kill King Brago and release chaos upon the high city of Pagliano. From the ashes, a new king will rise, and it's all thanks to this new planeswalker. And that's just a little teaser for Kaya, Ghost Assassin. We haven't seen her card yet, and I'll do a full video on her lore when I get back from my trip. Since we haven't seen her card yet, what colors do you guys expect this roguish killer of ghosts to be? If I had to guess, I'd say blue-black fits pretty well. She's an assassin for hire, and she does kill spirits, so that would be my bet. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, consider throwing it a like, sharing it with a friend, and subbing to the channel. It all helps support future content. As always guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.